what would be some other tips that you would give for, let's say, a mid-market company who is looking to advance their experimentation capabilities a little bit? Is it is it really just leaning in on those process and getting leadership buying and, and a shared understanding of what you're trying to achieve um, or a context around the test? What else would kind of say, yes, you're, you are doing experimentation in the right way? Well, for me, it's um, there's a few key aspects, and I think one of them really starts in you can't really test or experiment with access to, without access to good quality data and analytics. So you don't know what's successful unless you can measure it. And so if you have development of robust data and analytics capabilities, you can use things like accurate data collection and analysis to able to really understand exactly the the outcomes of experiments and make informed decisions. So you know, stop, start. I know what to continue doing versus the things that we should stop doing. And then understanding what worked and what didn't work. So for me, that can then be reinforced like a, you know, a cycle almost where I know and have access to lots of good quality data. I can then use that to inform and make informed decisions about the right experiments to run. And then obviously for a mid-market organization, aligning with business strategy, making sure that you're prioritizing the experiments that contribute towards the appropriate goals. So it's no good just experimenting for experimenting sake because it might not be matched to the goals and the metrics that leadership or indeed various individuals are tasked towards. So aligning yourselves very closely is clear. And then when it comes to that, then obviously then it's about having, having those key, I say performance indicators, those KPIs that are those key metrics that really can be measured. As we know, with most metrics, they need to be measurable. If they're not measurable, then it's pointless. So therefore, any metric should indeed be have that, that key mantra of being measurable, being timely, being something that can be tracked and managed accordingly. And then once you've done all of this testing, for me, one of the most important things is then to get feedback. So you then regularly review, iterate on the experiments that have been running and then act on the feedback and the insights gained to be able to then go again, really, in terms of having an adaptive approach for continuous improvement. And if you think about, you know, some of the models that, for example, I remember, you know, Kaizen's model for continuous improvement, they were always refining their model by 1%, 2% each time and looking for continuous improvement in terms of how can they build out and enhance how they do an engineering process. And so this is no different. Analyzing the results, seeing what worked, refining, going again.